Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Mark Ozzy here from Black Hat Comics in Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to go to black-cat-comics.com, pick up something fun to read. This week is packed with stuff that's fun to read just in time for the holidays. Start with the DC guys because they got a big old stack of cool stuff. Like, let's say, for example, this uh, Batman Who Laughs action figure is part of this cool assortment that I've got back here. But, you know one of my favorite things to do in these videos is, say, Action Comics with that awesome John Romita Jr. cover. Detective Comics, the book that started it all with the main man Batman and Wonder Woman. The three core titles of all things comics, the three of the best books DC does. Let's go through that once again. Action Comics, this is uh, the next to last issue from the great Brian Michael Bendis run. Uh, he wraps it all up in 1028, which is right around the corner. I've been talking up the Bendis Superman book since he started way back at number 1000. Love, love, love these. It's a great time to be a super fan. Check this out before he wraps it all up. Detective Comics, just as good as the core Batman book. Uh, if you're a Bat fan, you need this book on, it, on your list. Like I say, it's really, really solid. Great stories, great art, new villains. Really fun time to be checking out Detective. And Wonder Woman, one of the best comics out there. Go back to 761 to start the new run. Like I say, everybody should have Wonder Woman on their list. I always like to start these videos with the trinity of comics. But always more DC to talk about, like this is your Dark Knight death metal one shot of the week. The Batman Who Laughs previously mentioned with that especially awesome action figure. Batman Beyond, one of my favorite Bat titles. Always like to see uh, the future version of Heroes. Love the show, love the comic, love me some Dan Jurgens. Batman Superman, because you love Batman, I love Superman, I love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and that's just a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup of comics right there. Batman, White Knight, Harley Quinn. The uh, third incarnation of this run, because it's been so insanely popular, this one's already on your list, like everything Harley Quinn, so it doesn't need a whole lot of help from me. But uh, if you're someone without a sub list, here it is. Get online, pick that up, because it's awesome. Red Hood rounds out your bat-related books for the week. This one might be flying under your radar, but uh, it's a pretty solid book. Good writing, good characterization. People that read this really dig it, and it's a good time to jump into that one. The Flash is another book that doesn't need a whole lot of help from me, already on everybody's list. One of the most popular books they have. DC's big uh, TV and movie star. Justice League Dark. It's your Wonder Woman team book of the week. Another book I've been talking up from the very beginning, mostly because it has Detective Chimp, and Detective Chimp is awesome. Legion of Superheroes. Another uh, Bendis great. Everybody loves some Legion. Suicide Squad. That's your last issue of Suicide Squad, sadly. I'm sure there will be a, another reboot in the future, but this wraps up uh, what's been going on over the last few years with Suicide Squad. Good stuff there. And a couple of black labels. John Constantine, Hellblazer. One of your DC black label books. But the other history of the DC Universe is uh, what is coming to be known as more of a traditional black label, oversized, mature reader, superhero kind of thing. A lot of buzz about this book, a lot of talk about this on the internet. Has been since the whole uh, DC Con thing. Everybody's been looking forward to that. If you don't have this on your list, you're going to want to pick one of these up today because they're going to go fast. Sort of one of the uh, more unique outings from DC of late. Great week for the Marvel guys. Wrapping up the... Ten of Swords, the X of Swords stuff, part 20, part 21 is Excalibur, and then the big conclusion, part 22, and X of Swords Destruction. Been talking up uh, these books for the last few weeks. It's a great time to be an X fan, great time to jump into X stuff. If uh, you want a little taste of what's going on in any of the X books, grab any of these X of Swords stuff. Pick up this last issue if you haven't read any of it. Just jump in and see how it all wraps up and get ready for the next big story arc and all these different titles. Like I say, it's a good time to check out this different X stuff. Excalibur's a good one. New Mutants, X-Force, X-Men. A lot of good X books these days. And that X-Force is, like I say, a nice tour through the whole universe. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man, number 53.LR is another one of your in-between issues with this Last Remain stuff. Again, great time to jump into uh, Amazing Spider-Man. It's always been the core title of the Marvel Universe and has been a whole lot of fun for years and years.
But uh, the Spencer run has sort of brought it back to basics, brought it back to what has always made Spidey great. Um, don't want to say too much about it, but uh, there's been a pretty big reveal here in the last few issues with the main core villain. So if you were ever a Spidey fan, it's a good time to come back. If you were never a Spidey fan, grab number 50 and catch up to the latest issue, and I think they'll convince you. Daredevil is another book I've been talking up since the dawn of time. Uh, one of Marvel's most consistent titles. Uh, if you like crime fiction, if you like uh, the superhero stuff, uh, that isn't exactly, uh, you know, interdimensional and intergalactic. Pick up some Daredevil. Uh, like I say, really consistent, very self-contained, um, just classic Marvel comics. And uh, again, one of the best books Marvel's had for a long, long time. Go as far back as you want, or just grab this latest issue and jump in. Daredevil is really one of the best books out there. Doctor Doom! One of my favorite, favorite titles, one of my favorite, favorite villains, one of the best characters in all of comics, really, and it's great to see him in his own title, and it's a really cool uh, take on the character and a cool angle for this book. It's not just, you know, doom fighting people. Uh, there's a bigger story arc going on. Again, don't want to spoil too much for you, but grab the first issue. It will definitely suck you in and make you want to catch up to the latest one. Cool cover, too. Falcon and Winter Soldier. It's another one of my favorite books. You know I'm a big Captain America fan. That one gets you ready for the Disney Plus show. The Maestro, taking on my man Hercules. Always fun to see uh, Herc sucking it to uh, the Green Goliath. Power Pack is back in comics. I know you've missed them. Uh, this is one of your outlawed books. If you don't know too much about Power Pack, they have a very long and storied history in comics. And uh, it's one of those things that... Well, old school fans like me uh, are kind of embarrassed to say that they read Power Pack, but it's a fun little book. So if you don't know much about Power Pack, pick this one up. If you remember Power Pack from back in the day, grab that and uh, do a little flashback because that's a lot of fun. Uh, Marvel number two with that excellent Alex Ross cover. This is a little history tour through the history of the Marvel Universe. It's been a little while since Marvel number one came out. You might be mistaking it for Marvel's X or some of the other stuff that they've been doing. Uh, but grab Marvel number one, pick up Marvel number two. Like I say, you just can't beat. Let me show you real quick, though you know what it looks like. Check out that cool Alex Ross intro art. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Great classic Black Widow cover. You probably didn't even know that was Black Widow, did you? Great stuff. Star Wars, Dr. Aphra. It's your Star Wars book of the week. Been talking up the great job Marvel's done with everything Star Wars. And Dr. Aphra is a new character just to comics, so you might want to check that out. And Conan the Barbarian wraps up your uh, Marvel stuff. Great to see the Barbarian back in the Marvel Universe. Great week for the Marvel guys, and it's a good week for all the other guys, too. Stranger Things, Science Camp. It's your Dark Horse book of the week because you all love Stranger Things and they've done a great job with, uh, boy, this is probably the fourth uh, mini for Stranger Things that they've done along with a couple of uh, all-ages graphic novels. Good stuff. Spawn, number 312. Love talking up Spawn, uh, the original image book and uh, still leading the list of image titles for the week. You know, uh, Image Comics and Todd McFarlane, all these guys do a whole lot to support comic stores and the comic industry. So I'm doing my part to uh, encourage you guys to pick up some Spawn. If uh, you used to read Spawn back in the day, it's a great time to come back. If you've never read Spawn, pick up this issue and you'll see why guys like me have been reading it for 300 issues. Department of Truth is your other Image Book of the Week. A lot of buzz about this book and uh, just keeps selling more and more issues as it goes. Cool conspiracy theory title. And Monstrous gets a new number one. Uh, just a little two-issue mini in between uh, the two arcs while the main book is on hiatus. But if you're a Monstrous fan, you want to pick this up because you know the book is awesome. If you don't know anything about Monstrous, pick up that first issue reprint or grab the first trade paperback. This is really is one of the best books in comics. That art will blow you away. Usagi Ojimbo, Wanderer's Road. It's your IDW book of the week. You know I'm always talking up Usagi. And uh, this is the first issue of a side book, so if you don't follow the main book, this is a good opportunity to uh, check out some Usagi Ojimbo and see what I'm always talking about. Vampirella. It's my dynamite book of the week. You know, I'm always talking up Vampirella, Red Sonia, Deja Thoris, all the great stuff that Dynamite does. Angel and Spike. This is my Boom Studios book of the week because Angel is my favorite Whedonverse thing. And... Uh, well, if you know a little bit about Angel, you know that in Season 5 it was all Angel and Spike, and that's my favorite season, and 
It's a great book right now. If you're a Buffy fan, you're going to want to pick this up. If you're not any kind of Buffy fan, you can still check it out because it's cool crime fiction and horror stuff. Rick and Morty Ever After is your only book of the week. And if you're a Rick and Morty fan, there's another Rick and Morty Presents out this week as well. And then Kaiju Score is your Aftershock book of the week. Been talking up a lot of Aftershock comics. If you're looking for something that's not superheroes, not quite so uh, interdimensional and apocalyptic, Check out some different things from Aftershock, and here's the first issue to jump into. Devil's Highway is your AWA book of the week, and also talking up a lot of AWA because, boy, top books and top talent just can't beat that. And I Walk With Monsters is the first issue of a new Vault book. Vault is another publisher, a new publisher we've been talking up. Here's a first issue, so you can check out uh, some of the things that they do and get a feel for for them as a publisher. Great, great week for the indie guys. And a couple of ages to talk about. Been talking up the great job my Marvel and IDW have done teaming up together. This is Marvel Action Chillers number two. The only thing more fun than all ages comics is uh, all ages horror superhero comics. Good stuff there. And Star Wars Adventures is uh, the second outing from Marvel and IDW. Marvel uh, has loaned out their whole all-ages line, and IDW is doing a bang-up job of it. Love seeing uh, Star Wars comics in the all-ages format. Great, great week of stuff. So check that shipping list. Go to black-cat-comics.com. Click on Shop. Click on New This Week. Take a look at uh, all the books we've been talking about, and click on uh, Last Week if there was anything from last week that you might have missed. Want to tell everybody, uh, we're closed tomorrow for Thanksgiving, of course. Enjoy your holiday. Have a great time. Uh, and uh, while you're at home, make sure you go to black-cat-comics.com. Uh, click on Shop and check out all the cool gift ideas that we've got for uh, the superhero in your life. And then tune back in Friday, 6 p.m. for uh, Kazi's Classics Live. Going to be talking about uh, some vintage comics that I'm thankful for. Friday, 6 p.m., Facebook and YouTube. That's all we got for you for this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.